Hello world, welcome to the 38th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. If you've been a longtime subscriber, or if you're new to my channel, please leave a comment below on what ability you'd like me to build for Shane next. My previous video isn't doing well, so maybe if I build things that interest more people, uh, my channel will do better. And so. All right, so in this video, I'm going to build some functions for a Bible app. So this is actually a great um, beginner code because you'll use requests and uh, the JSON data a lot. So first, we'll find a specific book, chapter, and verse. And so we'll start with the ubiquitous John 3.16. So let's run this. Okay, what book are you looking for? Let's type in John. What chapter are we looking for? Chapter 3. And what verse are we looking for? Chapter 16. Alright. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And there you go. So, so that's pretty cool. And then let's run the code again and check for one that doesn't exist. So let's look for um, a chapter that we know that doesn't exist in the book of John. Okay, so what book are we looking for? John. What chapter are we looking for? Let's say chapter 50. And what verse? It doesn't matter because we know that that chapter doesn't exist. There you go. There's not that many chapters in John. And so one quick note, just for respect of the Bible, if you will, it says, what book are you looking for? Check out here, it's a lowercase j, and then down here, it's an uppercase j. So, I, you know, those little details are important to me. So the next function we'll use is, what if we don't know the exact verse we want, and we want to look at all the verses in a specific chapter? So let's run this one. I called it uh, Search Bible. All right, and so we're going to look at um, maybe Romans um, oh wait let's end this let's actually run this again and let's look at the book of uh, third John Okay, and um, let's go chapter one. Okay, and so what it's doing now it, it is scrolling through all of the verses, and then when it gets to the end, it will tell us there are no more chapters. There you go. That's all of the verses in 3 John, and I spell verses wrong, so let me change that. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. I like that a lot. And then let's go through the code real quick. So this is not a tutorial series, but I do go through the code in all my videos. Um, I did write most of this code myself. So this wasn't one of the ones where I just uh, copy and pasted someone else's code and then change it or could not write it at all and went to Stack Overflow and they helped me all the way through. So I actually did the majority of this myself. And so we'll start off on this website right here, getbible.net. And it tells us that uh, there are several ways to get this information. So first, you get this basic URL that ends with a question mark. And then we can do simple string queries. So right here, it tells us that uh, you just need to know the passage and the version, and that's it. So I chose this first one, right? The following are all valid, which is kind of cool that they give you choices. I chose the first one. So let's go to PyCharm. So first you'll need to import requests and import JSON. Both of these are part of the standard Python library, so you won't need to uh, pip install them. So we do some global variables first, since I'm using a, a multitude of functions. So book and verse are empty strings. 
Then this URL comes from this right here, this passage equals. So passage equals. And then this API doesn't give true JSON data. I'm not sure why. So for the end of your string, even though this website does not say you need this, uh, put and raw equals true. So the raw data, place it into a JSON. So for that specific Bible where we looked up a specific one, you'll need to do a global variable for book, which is already empty. And then we're going to do a try loop so we can accept some errors. So first we ask what book are we looking for? And then we capitalized it just to show respect. So as you saw, the error message said, there's no more chapters in John with the capital J. Then we looked at what chapter and then what verse. And then you create the URL. So we add that URL. We add the book and the chapter that we entered. This little colon, the verse we entered, this ending right here, this at raw equals true. And then the version. So I chose the American Standard Version because um, the default is King James Version. So American Standard Version. So you add it and what it's doing is it's creating the URL for you based off the input. Then you do, you get a response equals the request.get you pass it this URL response, and then you put .json, telling it to make it a JSON file. Then it gives you this one super long chapter, and I'm not impressed with the JSON data it does give you, but it is free, and so you know I'm not going to complain. So the very first index that you want to look for is book. Then in the zeroth index of that book, you want to get the chapter. Okay. And then you pass that to here. So the verse lower is this right here, right here. And then out of that, we're going to get the verse and then the actual verse itself. And then we print it. So you saw that it was John 316. If you spell the um, book wrong, it'll say, I think you spelled the book wrong. And then if we entered um, John chapter 50, you saw that it says there's not that many books. So the next one, we're going to do some global variables again, book and verse. We ask the book and the chapter. And then we create uh, an integer for one. We start off in verse one. And then we're going to, while it's true, we're going to create this, this verse integer into, you know, the verse into a string. Then we're going to pass it into the URL that we just talked about. So it's going to start with one in this while loop. We're going to get the response, do the upper and lower, and then we're going to print verse is verse one when it first starts off, plus the snippet. And then we're going to increment the verse by one. So the first time it goes through it, it's going to use this one right here. So verse one in whatever book and chapter you put. Then it's going to come back, and then it's going to increment this by 1, so now we're at verse 2. It's going to keep doing that, and then once we get a JSON decoder error, which means we entered a verse range that doesn't exist, it says that's all the verses in this book. All right, so that's the code. Um, I'll leave it. I'll scroll slowly. If you want to, you know, copy and paste, you can pause the video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment with your favorite Bible verse. Um, you know, most people, I could do all things through Christ, you know, John 3.16. But please leave a comment with your favorite Bible verses. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Goodbye, world.